Hello everyone, if you're new here, I'm Rebecca, this is my channel Rebecca Reacts and today I'm going to be reacting to a video called Best Indian Weapons in the World. That is a big statement, so let's find out. I did do another video um, reacting to like weapons um, that India has maybe like a month ago. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out after this video. Also, I'm very sorry about this like weird patch of light here. Um, I've tried to close my curtains, doesn't really help. Um, so we're just gonna have to bear with that and it might happen in future videos as well. I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> so this is the video we're gonna be watching today. And if you have any other videos you want me to react to, please put the links to them in the comments below. And if you feel like it, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because it's free to do so. And I'm trying to create frequent content again. So yeah, but we're gonna watch this video and let's see what we learn. Ten Indian weapons that shock the entire world. India is one of the most rapidly growing militaries in the world. They have evolved from a regional force with tactical capabilities to a growing strategic force with global reach. Here are the 10 weapons possessed by the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force that are among the best in the world. Number 10. Pinaka MBLRS. The Pinaka MBLRS multiple barrel rocket launch system is produced in India by Defence Research and Development Organisation or DODO for the Indian Army combat proven in the cold and high altitude regions during the Kargil conflict in 1999. Pinaka can fire up to 12 missiles, rockets in 44 seconds with a reload time as short as 4 minutes. Number 9. P90S Pishma Bhishma is the Indian name for the Russian made T-90S tank. The tanks are fitted with the most advanced jamming systems, laser warning yeah, receivers, daylight yeah. sighting system and 125mm QA-46M smoothbore gun with thermal capabilities. A Bhishma tank, manned by a crew of three, weighs 48,000 kilos and can cross water obstacles as deep as 5 meter and carry 1,600 liters of fuel under its virtually impenetrable armor. Wow. Number 8. INS Vector Militia. By far the biggest and the most expensive aircraft carrier in the Indian Navy, hmm. this 40,000 ton sea monster can carry up to 24 MiG-29K fighters and 6 ASW or AEW helicopters. It was wow. bought from Russia on January 2004 at price of $2.35 billion and on the 14th of June 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi formally inducted the INS Vectromeditya into the Indian Navy. <laughs> Nag missile and Namika. Nag missile carrier developed at a cost of 3 million rupees. Nag is a fire and forget anti tank missile developed in India by the DRPO, often written as world's only anti tank missile which has a complete fiberglass structure. Nag weighs 42 kilograms and can engage targets at ranges 4 to 5 kilometers at a flight speed of 230 meters per second using infrared imaging system. Namika is the Nag missile carrier which is capable of carrying 12 missiles with eight of them in ready to fire mode. Number 6. Falcon AWACS. AWACS stands for Airborne Early Warning and Control System used to detect aircraft, ships and vehicles at long ranges. The AWACS Act has control centers guiding fighter interceptors and tactical air force in battle area and can detect targets up to 400 kilometers away. They are fitted with aerial refueling systems and electronic warfare equipment as well. Mm -hmm. Number 5. Prithviya Defense or Advanced Air Defense or Ballistic Missile Defense System. It is a double-tiered system consisting of two land and sea-based interceptor missiles, namely the Prithviya Defense Missile for high-altitude interception and the Advanced Air Defense Missile for lower-altitude interception. The two-tiered shield should be able to intercept any incoming missile launched from 5,000 kilometers away. The system also includes an overlapping network of early warning and tracking radars, as well as command and control posts with the test of the pad missile. India became the fourth country 
country to have successfully developed an anti-ballistic missile system after United States, Russia, and Israel. Hmm. Wow. Number four. INS Chak, nuclear-powered submarine. Christened as INS Chakra, the real name of the submarine is Mirka, Russian name. Chakra has 36 torpedoes and club anti-ship missiles, possesses almost zero noise levels, and can accommodate 80 personnel. India invested over $900 million in the development of Chakra in return of which Russia leased it to Indian Navy for 10 years. U.S. France and China are the only other nations with nuclear-powered submarine. <laughs> My goodness. Number 3. INS Vishakhapatnam, destroyer. On 20th of April 2017, the Indian Navy launched its latest and by far the most powerful and advanced stealth destroyer ship called the INS Vishakhapatnam. Once christened as an Indian naval ship in July 2018, INS Vishakhapatnam will be the most advanced Indian destroyer warship to sail the battle waters. The 163 meter long and 7,300 tons heavy devourer will have eight supersonic rammers anti ship missiles. 32 Barak 8 long range surface to air missiles, multi function surveillance, threat alert radar system, and a twin tube torpedo and rocket launchers. Number 2 Sukhoi Su 30 MKI. The Sukhoi Su 30 MKI is a super maneuverable twin jet air superiority fighter developed by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. HAL, developed from the SU-30 MK, here I stands for India after it was modified to fit in their war needs by French, Israeli and Indian avionics in collaboration with a name to create the ultimate SU-30 variant for India. It can load up to 8 tons of weapons, and soon it will be getting fitted with Brahmos and Nabe cruise missiles. It's gonna be number one. Brahmos missile. Compared to other missiles of the same category, Ramos has three times more velocity, three times more flight range, four times more seeker range and nine times more kinetic range. The current production rate is said to be 100 missiles per year. Also, the missile guarantees pinpoint accuracy with hypersonic speed throughout the flight. The whole Ramos project is expected to cost $13 billion. Hope you like our video. Please My goodness. Give thumbs up. Share and subscribe our channel for more videos. Now I know we've definitely seen that Bramos missile in definitely the other weapons video that I did and I'm pretty sure it's come up in a couple of other videos that I've watched um, so I'm not surprised that that's number one because I've seen it in a couple of other things. Um, I did have a little issue with this video, the only issue that I really have with this is like the sound. So you've got the dramatic music in the background but then you couldn't really hear the lady's voice, is that just me or? Are other people finding that I feel like they should have like quietened down the background music so we could hear her a bit better there was points in the video where I was kind of struggling to hear what she was saying um, that's just my opinion let me know what you think in the comments below <laughs> but yeah another very interesting video um, I liked how dramatic it was you know you had the dramatic music you had the dramatic like fire numbers come up as well um, so very dramatic but uh, yeah, very interesting to see how powerful India is with its like weapons. And there was a lot to do with like the Navy and um, the Navy and the, what's the other one, the Air Force. <laughs> so they clearly have some very powerful weapons. Um, oh my gosh, and the, the tank, that clip where the tank was like going up the little ramp and then just kind of flew off. I didn't know tanks could do that. <laughs> like that sounds silly. Am I, am I naive to think that like I couldn't imagine tanks lifting off the ground I think I am <laughs> but that shocked me and also those missiles at the very beginning they were like shooting off so quickly I'm shocked oh the sun's come out again <laughs> now I look like a ghost wonderful well yeah thank you to the person who suggested i watch that video if you enjoyed it please do give this video a thumbs up thank you to my producer level patrons and if you want to become a patron yourself of any level the link is always in the description there's levels that range from one dollar a month all the way up to ten you can pick whichever you want it's just up to you but the best way to support me is by hitting that subscribe button it is free to do so and yeah we're so close to twenty thousand subscribers it's actually insane Woo!
<laughs> thank you so much and yeah share this video with friends and family you know maybe get them to subscribe if they want to and i will see you very soon for a new video bye